Hello and good morning, Rowan. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. It's nice to talk to somebody that's from the Pacific Northwest. You're from South Dakota, and I am from Montana. Oh, cool. Nice. So what is it about the soil up there? Because, you know, so much real music has been written out there in those open fields in the plains, and I've always thought it's because it's blowing from the ocean, and we there's nothing to stop it but a musician. I, I don't know. I think... I think that you can find a lot of inspiration out there. I think the quiet sometimes helps you. I feel like people always say it's like more quiet than like, it's not a, it's not a big city area. So it's kind of more quiet. Uh, I think that quiet can kind of help you find your own self and find your own craft and kind of be confident within yourself than to, you know, kind of fly anywhere else you may want to go. So, so true because I would go out there and I would uh, stand on those gigantic, uh, you know, bales of hay uh, and, and when they're stacked and all that kind of stuff and just feel the atmosphere with that big sky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Where you are right now in, 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 on the voice and everything like that. I mean, you've got Gwen Stefani, who's, who's your coach and things. I mean, you've got to be like a sponge just learning so much. Oh my goodness. Yes. I'm like, every time I'm around her, I'm just open ears, open eyes, just listening, taking every single thing in that she's saying, making sure to be paying attention at all times for sure. Are you writing any of it down in a journal or anything? Because you know, what's going to happen is that one day you're going to come back to it and you're and you're going to go, Oh my God, I forgot about that. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Definitely writing a lot of stuff down. I'm, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm somebody that writes stuff down, uh, all the time anyways Uh, I write music I write songs and so I'm definitely someone who likes to write things down on pen and paper for sure Um, so after all this uh, just I think in my journey in general I've been writing down to just kind of keep memory and remember those moments that I may forget in the future but yeah for sure what Gwen is saying I'm just taking it all in make sure I remember don't forget don't forget writing it all down and stuff have you given her any fashion tips or anything like that because you know she's she's so in touch with fashion that she's got to be a listener as well I haven't given her any fashion tips. But she has said that she likes some of my outfits, which is such a compliment coming from the <laughs> Gwen Stefani. I mean, she is a fashion icon for sure. She's like, loves fashion and all that stuff. And I, I really like fashion too. That's something that interests me too, which I think is cool. When did your parents realize that you had the voice? And the reason why I bring that up is because I remember when my granddaughter was three years old singing in the back of the car and I literally thought, oh my God, she's got the voice. Um, I think uh, when I was younger, I was a little kid that put myself out there for sure. I would get up on every stage yep. and dance in front of everybody and sing in front of everybody. And um, I was my my mom's first kid, you know, and she was like, she would talk to my grandma and be like, I feel like this is not normal. And my grandma, <laughs> no, no, this is not normal. This is not normal. And so um, once they kind of noticed me taking interest in performing and singing and kind of hearing that and hearing how, like, how much I loved it, just yeah. how much I, how much joy came out of that, came out of me when I was doing those things, they were like, okay, here we go. Let's buckle up, everyone, you know, put me, put me in all my singing classes, dance classes, every theater, everything, like just everything. So will, will you ever lose that, that feeling of what it's like to have what I call the, the coffee shop c- concert? Because I mean, so many times, I mean, people started in the coffee shops, but then they go to the bigger stages and don't come back. But you seem to have that personality saying, no, I'm going to take my guitar in there and I'm, I'm going to perform. I'm just, I'm just going to perform. Yeah. I think something that I've realized about myself is that it is just about the music for me. I just, I can't even express how much I love music and not just music in general, but I love singing. I love mm-hmm. performing. I love writing. I love every single aspect of it. And so I think that to me, like, you know, obviously playing huge arenas is like such a dream and such a goal. But I think for me, the biggest thing is just that I'm doing music. So no matter where that is, um, I think I'll be satisfied and happy. For well, sure. your your PR has been perfect in, in in the way of that you know singing the national anthem that puts you in front of people. I mean, you were in front of people. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, the national singing the national anthem definitely helped me um, kind of put myself out there performance wise uh, and kind of realize, oh, I I think I like this performance aspect too. I I think I I think I like this a lot. You know, being up there in South Dakota, one of the things that a lot of listeners who don't travel to that part of the world, those Black Hills up there are are, are just amazing and filled with a lot of energy. So beautiful. It's so beautiful up here. Yes, for sure. Do you get out there and do you do you, do you feel the creativity flowing in the wind when, you, when you're in those, those Black Hills? 
I think definitely. Um, uh, I will will go on hikes with my family and that kind of stuff in different areas, and it's just. I don't know. It's really, it's really inspiring. It's just really cool to just be standing there and see where I live and kind of be proud of where I live and get inspiration from where I live. I just, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of an indescribable feeling mm -hmm. yeah. to be there. Yeah. One of the things that you have been blessed with is that you're brilliant in school. My God, straight A's and things like that. I mean, you're at that age now where it's time to start thinking about the universities. Uh, look at look at what Dave Matthews did at universities. Do you find yourself doing that? Um, I think, uh, when, you know, growing up, I've always said that I want to go to college, and I think that still stands right now. I think no matter what, I don't know, you know, you never know when it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Luckily, college is always there, so that, that'll be nice um, to have. Um, I for sure want to go to college. I think... I don't know. I just, I feel like I just have so much more to learn. I mean, I'm so young and I have so much more to learn and especially about music because it's the thing that I love the most. I really want to, I personally really want to go to like some type of music college or some place where I could get a lot more music education. Um, I, I just think that would be really beneficial to me and something that I would really enjoy. Please don't do what I did. And that is that I gave up music to go into radio because radio was a daily live stage. I mean, you protect that music. I think one thing is like uh, it's sometimes people, you know, you know, people, especially around here have been like, OK, well, you know, music is hard and music. It's hard to be big and which is so which is so true. It's so very true. But it's also just something that I love and I don't think I could see myself doing anything else. Yeah. And I just I just I just love it so much and it's something that I really work hard towards and I feel like that's just something that I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. So. Where where can listeners go to find out more about you and give you some love? They can find me at Rowan Grace Music on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, everything, all that stuff. Well, I hope uh, I hope we get to talk many more times in the future. I really do, Rowan. Me too. You bet. Well